Hey, this is Dan from 123 Muse, and a customer had a question about an Instagram widget. And we did have an Instagram widget. However, Instagram recently updated some of its API and a lot of the widgets don't work for Instagram now. Also, uh, the widget that we made was prior to the new responsive version of Muse. And so while the widget worked fine in, um, in responsive Muse, the widget itself wasn't responsive. Um, and so we really want to have a, uh, a responsive widget um, or responsive way to add Instagram into your um, Muse project. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. And uh, um, it doesn't cost anything. Uh, for the basic um, light widget that you can see here on my screen. And uh, the folks here, they have gone through um, the process of getting their um, widget. Um, they've applied and got it approved by Instagram. So this widget works. And as you can see on the screen here, this is a, a demo of somebody's uh, Instagram. And as I slide this out, you can see that it is responsive. Well, first of all, Let's take a just a quick look at uh, what we can do here. Um, so it's going to ask you to log into your Instagram account first of all. So I'm going to click log in. I am going to use my photography um, Instagram account. Going to log into that. And so at this point, you know, you would have needed to have got your uh, information from a customer's Instagram account if it was for a client site. So now I can see the pictures here in the browser and I can see what this is going to look like and I can see that it is responsive. So now let's go down and take a look at the settings that they offer. So the initial settings are um, for adjusting the entire uh, um, widget. And so it's got three columns and three rows. And I'm going to add a zoom and rotate hover effect. And the amount of spaces, no, I'm going to use the image preloader, yes. I'm going to click to take a look at that. Oh, no, that looks really wonky. Okay, just the zoom effect will probably be good. Okay, let's take a look at that. Yeah, that zoom effect is good. All right. So now I could go ahead and click here on get code. And it would give me this code that I could uh, put into my um, Muse page. And in this, it says here uh, that this is the free version. You can use it without limitations. But please keep in mind that the widget will refresh, which means pulling new photos from Instagram just once per day. So for the free version, I mean, you can put it on somebody's site. It's not going to cost anything. However, if that client or you, if it's your website, if you're posting pictures up to Instagram on a very consistent basis and you want those to be showing on your web page, so it would be more than once a day, then you have to do the upgrade, um, which is $10. And as it says here, it's a one-time fee, no recurring payments. And once you get that, um, you'd be able to use this and have it pull images as often as you put them up there. However, if you did um, get another client site and want to put that same widget into there, you would have to pay $10 again. So it will be $10 per client site because this is $10 based on the fact that I put this login. If I put a different login information in here, it would be $10 to upgrade it for that login information. However, I think this is a very cool way to do it. So um, I think this is well worth showing to you guys. So the next thing is that you've got above the preview get code and upgrade this widget, you've got an add and delete. If I click into there, this is if I want to set any kind of responsiveness. Um, so it will automatically be responsive as in, when you see this, when I slide this in and out, the pictures get larger and smaller in a responsive way. However, if I want to put any responsiveness in the same way as um, breakpoints in Adobe Muse, then I can do this here. And this offers me to um, either do a max width or a min width, 
minimum width, set that width, and then when it gets to that width, set what change I want. So for instance, I could have it going on the page, and when it's on full screen, um, then it shows these three pictures. However, when I could set it so that when it gets down to 320 pixels wide, which is the size of a, of a phone, that it switches to only one column and two rows. So it's responsive, it can be responsive in that way. However, I think it looks pretty good just the way it is. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we would add this then into our Adobe Muse web page. So I'm going to grab the code here just by selecting it all, press and copy. Then I'm going to open up Muse. I'm going to create a new fluid width page. Once I'm inside that, I'm going to go to Object, Insert HTML, paste that HTML inside there. And here we can see it's already loaded my pictures up there in the preview. However, this isn't quite the right size. So let's let's work on the size a bit. So let's say we wanted this to kind of sit at the top here, around about this size. And we'll take a look at it. And we've got it set to responsive width here. And one of the problems that we've had um, as a third party provider for widgets is that um, while we can create widgets that are responsive, um, everything else on the page doesn't react to those responsive widgets. So let's go and test this out by putting something underneath it. And if this is, works right, then what it will do is it will push down, when you check, when you alter the size of the page, it will push down whatever is underneath it, or push that down, rather than just going right over the top of it. So now we've got that, I'm gonna do a quick preview on that. And here we go, we've got our um, pictures here from Instagram, and it's the way we've set it, which is a, a three by three. And it got the hover effect, and we have our content sitting underneath it, and it's stayed below it. So now let me change the page size, and yep, that is going responsive and pushing that down. All right, let me try something a little different with this. So let me move this to be the same width as, as the actual page. So we'll go to stretch to browser width. So I'll preview that again. And it has stretched it to the browser width, which is huge. And if I go down, yeah, it's still underneath it. So here we go, we've got a pretty cool thing. It's uh, basically um, filled up our entire page. But as we slide our slider, we can see that Whatever is below it is being pushed down and remaining underneath it. And so one of the problems that uh, you've probably noticed if you've um, used any old widgets from the older versions of Muse is that when you try to add a responsive nature to them that they don't work well with the rest of the items on the page. And this is doing just that. So that's fantastic. So then um, it would be very easy to, to update this. So say now, okay, this looked pretty good, but say I just wanted the images just to go across the top of the page. Um, so let's go back to our site and let's update this so that we have, let's put six columns wide, but only one row. We'll leave the hover effect there. So now that that's changed, I'm gonna click on get the code. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select this code here, copy it, go back to Muse and click Edit HTML, select the existing and delete it and replace it with this. Click OK. And now let's take a look at that in our browser. And here we go, we've got our pictures just across the top. That's cool, we could, obviously you could have that anywhere. And our content is still remaining pushed down underneath it and um, they're not kind of like one going over the top of the other which has been a problem many times in the past. Okay so that's the basics of how to get your uh, Instagram feed or your customer's Instagram feed onto um, the site. A very easy way without actually having to purchase a widget or go through any rigmarole. Um, I'm going to make another video after this um, which will cover a little more detail and show the settings and how to use the settings 
um, for uh, adding some uh, responsiveness into it. So this is basically for adding kind of like a breakpoint inside Muse, um, but inside this widget itself, so it changes the amount of rows and columns um, when the screen size changes. Um, but I hope you found this useful on how to quickly, easily add Instagram uh, for free um, with the basic uh, widget to you or your client's site. Thanks a lot.